So it says 500, 600 grams of purpose flour. Flour. So don't come for me in the comments. Yes, you here. Hi, my name is Sally Joan, and today I went back to school today. Why am I saying back to school? We did it from my mama's house. God, hi, Oreo. My dog is crying. So, anyway, um, school restarted today, and we, we did the usual introduce yourself, tell us a few interesting things about you. And so, today, the professor added, uh, say a new skill that you've learned while on quarantine. I'm a letter out just now. Anyway, so say a new skill that you learned during quarantine. And everyone was like, ooh, I'm knitting, I'm sewing, and I was like, god damn. I'm just sharpening my content creation skills, but I'm not learning anything new. And for the longest, longest, longest time, I've wanted to learn how to make fantasy. So I have a friend called Dawn who was supposed to teach me how to do it, and then we've just been procrastinating. So today I asked him to send me a WhatsApp recipe and then I went online and checked out like one channel. If I remember it, I'll link it in the description box. It's like a six minute thing and I'm like, I just hope we don't mess this up. So for the first time ever, I'm gonna try and make my dances on camera. If they backfire, it's Don's fault. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Learn how to make my dance with me. Yes. Yes. Like I was saying, yo, I'm not even kidding. I actually wrote down the recipe. So it says 500, 600 grams of purpose flour. Flour. So don't come for me in the comments. So I have a jar. I don't have many things things because I'm not. I don't bake. This is 500 ml. So I'm just gonna estimate that 500 ml, 500 grams. Now I'm trying. So we're going to use this. This is what I used to make chapels, which I'm really into. By the way, comment down below if you would like a uh, chapati recipe. Eh? Uh, uh, Sandy, what's going on? So I'll just show her like this KNG like. But we'll assume the excess is a hand. A hand it, so it worked out. I didn't see the guy who I got this recipe from. He's called Chef Someone. No, a link. I didn't see him sifting. And I see people who are baking sift, so I don't know if that helps with anything. Woo, that was loud. So this is 500 grams. So we'll go with 500 grams. <laughs> so pima that. And then this is the tricky part. I know most people would prefer to use this, what you may call it, um, self-raising flour. So they don't have to do all of this work where it's like, how much baking do I pima? How much? But listen, we're going with the recipe Hansi. So I'm going to get a spoon. It says uh, six tablespoons of baking powder, which just sounds like a lot in my head. This is to be for breadcrumbs, but I've repurposed it. So um, I don't know, I just feel like it's a lot. Tablespoons, how many teaspoons? So if it was tablespoons, then this should be three. Oreo? It's not a meal. It's not for food. My dog sat because she thought I'm about to give her a treat. Ain't no treat, girl. Here I come. So I'm going to do three. And then check, recheck the recipe just in case. So if I do three and it was six, then we are Gucci. I am sour. And then what else does it say? Seven uh, tablespoons of sugar. Yo, this seems like a lot, but you know what? I didn't make the rules. So seven would be equal to 14 of these, and I'm not about to do all of that. So I will just get a tablespoon and give you all seven. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. It looks like a lot, guys. Like, um... Can somebody say sweet teeth? Not even one sweet tooth. 
so then and then it says a tablespoon of margarine he was specific in saying that this tablespoon is for softening the mandazi so i wonder if not putting this would mean that the mandazi would be gumus i don't know guys i don't know but is it weird that i like the smell of margarine comment down below if you like it also if you're fancy he said you could use butter instead and pet peeve i know if you haven't watched my pet peeve video i'm gonna link it but for me it's a pet peeve when people show attack like margarine going down and then it just looks like it was attacked by a viking so you just be civilized and do it this way okay guys okay so yeah one of those and then it also says two eggs which i have over here my home science teacher taught me that you should break them separately in case one has gone bad so that's why i have two of these makes for more dishes but i'm not going to complain it's better than ruining the whole mandazi recipe and then a cup of milk this is like a 300 ml cup so i'm just hoping that's okay yeah yeah so i'm going to just confirm the recipe and then i'll be right back with the correct one so guys i just rechecked the recipe with chef Raphael. yes i know his name now and it says it actually says a tablespoon of sugar for every gram of flour and since we did 600 it actually needs to be three more i level them because my mama taught me how to act right okay i almost just ran out of this thank god because i don't want to go to the store all right so we have our dry ingredients so i want to mix the dry ingredients then mix the wet ingredients and then mix them together so for now i just want to break break out the eggs do you speak other english no? okay it was funny in my head Then come out our wet ingredients. I've seen some people put salt in their dazis, and since eh, my neighbors are having a party, I'm about to dial seven one nine. Anyway, so I've seen some people. Uh, obviously, the flour was not enough. Some I've seen some people using salt in their mandazi recipes apparently to balance out like the tastes comment down below if that's something you would recommend and if you are like an ardent mandazi maker please explain to me the point of using salt and then sugar like why this seems more of cake butter than anything so i guess calculations were off Yo, I ended up using all of the flour. So I don't know if it was 600 grams or what. Are you? I don't know if it was 600 grams or what, but we, we'll find out. Listen, we'll find out together if these mandazis are actual mandazis. So I want to move to the tabletop counter because this spell is not my jam. So restrict, restricting my movement. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll let it set. It says 30 minutes to an hour, but I only got to 30 minutes guys. I really want to see if these numbers come out the way I'm hoping they'll come out. Let's pray please. Let's pray. So it should be non-sticky because I haven't put any flour on the countertop for base the way you would for chapels but it's behaving so this is what he said. So I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes so that the baking powder can actually help it raise. And then we'll just come and roll and throw them in the fire. Let go. Six and a half hours late. So guys, it is 5.42 and when we put it to set, it was 5.12. So it's been exactly half an hour. As you can tell, your girl is a timekeeper so 
it looks a little fatter than it was so i am hoping that is the chemistry that is baking powder i am going to roll it into some thin strips and then we're going to yeah it's a lot fatter actually and then we're going to cut out them for the pan it smells so nice i don't know why i really enjoy it like the mixture of margarine and sugar yum 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 okay so we're gonna do i don't know it's sticking we might need some flour so we're gonna do some rolling and then meanwhile i want to heat up the oil so that when i finish this we can just throw them in there yeah it's time saving skills so we've replenished the flour i just want to make chef Raphael said you need to try and make these thin yes but not too thin so that like your dazi is not beefy on the inside because i hate when i go to a restaurant and i order a dazi and when you forgot it's air yeah, it's nada it's nothing i hate that i hate that so much so don't make them be too flat i think i actually pimed this roll to kidogo also because i'm childish and i love you i got some cookie cutters to make like the first batch of dows for me usually the first batch of everything is the best in reality it's usually the worst like the first chapel might show maker because you had too much heat on and then you learn from it but i don't know i have a soft spot for them so i have cookie cutters here and my baby sister is gonna pick the one we use so we have a circle a star because y'all are stars for being here a heart because i hurt y'all and this is trying to be a flower which one do you like kiki flower so we're gonna make flower shaped does this y'all i don't know why but these first ones are gonna be flower shaped so this is about the width i've decided to go for I'm just gonna redo these so that I can make more dazzles because we ain't about to waste. And then, when the oil is hot, we're going to check that we can put these cute ones in. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna keep rolling and we'll make we'll make as many shapes as possible. I think we might just use all of the above, but I know my mom will be like, What is this? So we'll do a lot of roundies for her. Yo, I just realized I'm cooking on heat. Oreo, down. And I don't know when the oil is ready. Like, how do you know when to throw in the mandazis? Because I've had a friend cook for me before, and he put in he put them into the oil while it was still kidogo cold. So like the first ones were soggy; they soaked up too much of the oil. Because apparently it's supposed to be super hot, so that when you put them in, it's just kuliva chap chap. It's not that you are soaking in the oil first. So now I'm like, this is not an oven. How do I know if it's ready? Because I'm making like fries because i also cook fries on this sky i usually put like the one sliced wedge and then if it rises to the top and starts turning crispy brown like in a few minutes i know it's ready but now i'm like am i willing to risk a whole cute flower shaped dazi to find out am i like it's so cute like why would i waste this but there's no other way to find out so i guess
So I know to turn them, like when they start turning golden brown, you should rotate them. And this frying is actually good because it means that the baking soda, add a baking soda, the baking powder actually worked. Chapa Mandashi, if you were wondering what brand it was, because it was in a repurposed one. I, I just, I don't know, but I feel like they'll taste better because they are shaped different than regular, regular dyes. Hey guys, they're turning all them brown. Now let's just hope they taste good because my sister was asking me about the sugar and I reduced my sugar intake. Sorry, babe. My dog is sneezing. I reduced my sugar intake so I don't consume. I'm just going to reduce the oil. I'm seeing others browning a lot faster than others. I reduce my sugar intake so I don't take as much as the regular person now. I don't know. I forgot to line a bowl. So I'm gonna do that right now, really, really quickly off camera. And then when we come back, we're gonna be serving the goodness that is Sandy's Mandazi's. Yes. They call they don't call me Mandazi Sandy for none. Hey, okay, so Doing things on camera takes double the time they take in real life because I have to make sure you guys can see it, sometimes do it twice over, but they look golden brown to me, so I'm just gonna start draining them. You're going to want to use this spoon because it's just easier to drain, but I know there's a better one, I forget what it's called. It has a little dip to it, so it looks like a colander almost. I think that would be best. This this one looks like a tortoise. This one, it looks it looks like a turtle. Mosquito. Oh, Mosquito. Shout out, Chinese. My my friend has. Sorry, my friend has tortoises. One called vodka, lol, and the other one's called mosquito. And I'm just like, that's the cutest. I know you guys are wondering, are they even good though? Don't worry, I'm wondering the same thing. But we'll find out together moment of truth. Let me just reduce this so I can make the next batch. And then, while this one's cool, we're gonna do a taste test together. Okay? Okay. You guys, they smell so good. Like, I know it's only my first time, but I'm so proud of me. <laughs> but now the moment of truth, my baby sister said these things look like ninja turtles because it's in Estonia. But you know what? They're Estonians and they smell so nice. And, uh, please, you see the head inside. Look what the inside looks like. Mmm. Mmm. I swear to God, ni tangu babes. Let me just put you under the camera. Hiya. Tell me it's not good. We give her. Or is the real tester? So, or is it? Good girl. She likes it. She did. It's good. It's good. Good job, babes. Ah, that was it. Now this is mine. So, guys, amazing that was. Amazing. The knife. So for this last one, I don't want to make shapes because every time I make shapes, there's like a little little dough that's left in the middle. So I'm just gonna make the little mini mandarins, which is what I had seen on Raphael's channel. I'm gonna plug him. I've said his name so many times today. If you're superstitious, he's tripping somewhere. <laughs> Comment down below if you understand what that means. So. Uh, I hope my ashy elbow is not too much in the frame. It's triggering us. It's triggering you guys. Guys, I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. You can donate if you want to buy for me lotion. So yeah, I feel like that's legitimate. I know this, this, this will be odd. Okay, so I'm just going to dip this in the fire and then we're done, guys.
guys, I'm over here with my best friends, aka Sandy's Nazis. Eh, has a ring to it, no? For real, for real, this was my first time making them, and I decided to risk it all and make it make them on camera. And I'm just they smell so good, they taste so good. So in case you're new to this channel, please. <laughs> like I'm so in love with them. I'm enamored. Like I'm just like, ooh, enamorado. So I in case you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I try and upload videos every Tuesday. I try, try really hard to upload videos. So they go up every Tuesday for you guys. If there's something, if there's a recipe you've been uh, willing or brave enough to try, please try it. And if it works out for you, let me know in the comment section below. Leaving a recipe so I can also try. I'm going to link Raphael's channel in case you want to know how he made his. But uh, thank you so much for keeping me company while I tested out this theory that people who can make chapos can also make nails. So, hey, we did it!